Frictional forces on flat belts, in my opinion, is a pretty cool topic because it has some pretty interesting applications. And what we're going over in this video is we're explaining these um, equations, which is really just one equation in different forms. And I'll explain all the variables and what they do. And so that's what we're going over in this video. And to begin with, what um, this concept is, is um, frictional forces on belts, which includes ropes or cables that are going over circular objects such as a pulley, um, a wheel, a drum, just whatever that is circular that is go it is going over. And so that's what um, T2 and T1 are, is they are the tension in that rope or belt. And T1 is, or T2, is the force in the direction of impending motion or in the direction of motion. And that just depends on whether the, um, the rope or belt is going across the surface of the object, the circular object. And so T2 is always gonna be greater than T1 because of the frictional forces involved. As it is being pulled over the object or as it is pulling on the object, there are frictional forces involved, so the tension of T2 is going to be greater than that of T1. So for example, if we are pulling a rope over a pulley, then T1 will be the tension in the rope on my side of the pulley, and T, T2 will be the um, tension in the rope on my side of the pulley, and T1 is going to be the tension on the other side of the pulley being pulled down by gravity or whatever else it may be pulled down by. So. Um, the next variable, mu, is the coefficient of static friction or kinetic friction, just depending on whether the rope or belt is moving across the circular object. And if it's moving across it, then it's going to be kinetic friction. If it's just pulling on the object, making it rotate, like such as a pulley would, then it's going to be static friction. And so that'll be the coefficient of whichever friction is involved. And then we have our angle beta, and that is the angle measured in radians of where the rope or the belt is contacting the surface of this circular object. And so say we have a tree branch with a rope hung over it. Well, if it's going straight down, if the rope is going straight down on either side, the um, contact angle for that rope on that tree branch is probably going to be about 180 degrees, which measured in radians is pi radians. So keep that in mind that that is in radians. So these two equations are written out in um, different forms. I figured I'd include both because they're both useful. This one helps um, if you know T1 and T2, you can solve for mu or beta. And with this one, if you're given, given one of the two tensions, you can solve for the other. So I have made two videos going over example problems of um, frictional forces on belts. And you click on this video link to go to the first one. It goes over a rope that is wrapped around a rod that is pulling up a weight and you can click on this video link, goes over the sec to the second video, which is um, a guy lowering his car down a hill with a rope that is wrapped around a tree. So if you find those videos helpful or if you find this video helpful, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments and I will reply to them. Also down in the description, I've got some links to Amazon and t where you can go and buy some merch from Student Engineering and that stuff like this shirt where it's got the engineering student engineering design logo on there and there's also ones on hoodies and mugs and stickers and other things with different designs and logos and buying that helps me a lot so if you're new to this channel my name is preston palmer student engineering and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering so if you found this video helpful hit that like button and please subscribe